provide nutrients, prevent aging. They'll even boost the immune system. Turbs seem like they're the real deal. Only found here in Paldea, and rare to boot. But this book says they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon. Ooh! Meaning that it's gonna be pretty tough to try to grab even a few sprigs. Because these Titans are, well, I think they've gotta be things like this. Monster Area Zero. As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon, though we wondered if these huge, ferocious beasts were in indeed Pokemon at all. One of our team suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. Looks like a Dawn fan in a way. Member of our survey team catches his photograph by chance. I notice a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Dawn Fan. Yeah, see, it's a Dawn Fan. The difference is such as its sheer size and the shape of its back seat. Back set it apart. As do its tusks. I was gonna say the tusks are what the first thing I thought of. I really want to get those herbs for myself, but I'm not very good at Pokemon battles. As you know, I caught that Skovit that was level 5, and you beat it like no problem. I don't have friends with strong Pokemon to lend me a hand either. And I'd never hear the end of it if I went crawling to that student council girl. Why would she make fun of you? I bet she would try and enthusiastically like say, oh, like, oh, I can help you train kind of thing. I can I can definitely think of Nimona kind of doing that. I hear you, Waltz up. You've got to help me out with this. You'd be perfect. Sure. Sure. More cyclists. Oh, wait. I don't need an answer yet. I just told you yes. I'll just register the places where it seems there might be titans in your map app for you. Oh, he's got a- Oh, he's got a full baby one! That's, that's something I just wouldn't have expected from him. Titans layers have been added to your map app. Are the titans? Do the titans and the gym leaders have different typings? Let us do a bit. We can get more into the details later, and in the meantime, take this. A little gift for listening and all. Bag of Stardust. Oh, it's just something I can sell for money, I guess. Give the idea some serious thought, please. Okay. I already told you my answer was yes, but you chose not to listen to that. Uh oh. Phones. Acting up. This is Zellstar, correct? Who is this? I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you. Hope you don't mind. What do you mean, hacked? Well, as far as you're concerned, it means I'm basically in control of your phone right now. <gasps> He's got access to my emails! My name is Cassiopeia. But never mind that. It's you I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. If that description is accurate, there's something I'd like to ask of you. Tell me, Zellstar. You know about Team Star, right? I mean, I do. Why is he smiling? Great, I appreciate you being up front here. Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some academy students a while back. They caused headaches for the school and tried to bring other students down to their level. And I refused to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I decided to put up a... To come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. But I'll need allies to carry out this operation, and I'd like you to be one of them. Sure! <laughs> just join all the teams! Uh, no need to reply right this Oh, you're just like all the others, pretty much. We can discuss the details some other time. Till then, I'll leave it to you. Bye! Ah! Ah, Master Star. who are you just talking to? <laughs> Please do try to keep your voice down if you're making calls within the school, won't you? I'll be more careful. You don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information, after all. Honestly, there are so many things we need to be careful about in this day and age. On you go, then, young man. I wonder if uh, Cassiopeia is something, someone that we've seen already. Team Star, you say? Hmm. Oh! Ding dong dong ding! What? Never heard of that. 
Calling Mr. Salazar to the director's office, please. Once again, I I didn't do anything, I swear. Raise up your hands. Surrender. You didn't do anything. Is there any classes? Yes. Mr. Salazar, what class do you really like to take? Ooh. I'd like to take math, please. I'd like math when there's time. Yes, please. That's what we can soon. Don't be tardy. <laughs> the director will have to wait. All right, let's see. Oh, how's it? Oh, uh. Hopefully, it's like a. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Nice to meet you. My name is My name is Time, and I will be your math teacher. Okay. Sorry to put you all on the spot. Sorry to the class, but let me ask you a quick question. Do you enjoy numbers, arithmetic, and the like? Sure. Yeah, sort of. I, I like that kid, sort of. Yep, that's me. Oh my, haha. <laughs> thank you for thank you for your honest, honest responses. Some of you may like numbers, and some may not. I think that makes a wonderful mix. But no matter your opinion on math, I hope you find yourselves enjoying our lessons together. I'll do my best to find a good way to match up your interests with all the types of math lessons. Speaking of which, are you all caught up on your studies of Pokemon type matchups? For example, water is strong against water, and water is strong against fire, correct? Salazar, you seem to be good with Pokemon, so let me ask you this. Bearing in mind that water is strong against fire, if the move Water Gun hits a fire type Pokemon, which. What becomes the move's damage? It's doubled. Did she say if a water type uses water gun? Or is it, is it just saying, like, if the water gun hits the fire type Pokemon? Then it's double. That's right. I knew I could count on you for this officer. Okay. Using moves of a type that your opponent is weak to is an effective strategy. It multiplies the damage of those moves by two. On the other hand, using moves of a type that your Pokemon is risen to isn't very effective. It divides the damage of your moves by two. <laughs> I don't mean to encroach on... Miss Dendra's Battle Studies territory, of course, but I thought it's best to use a lively topic as an uh, example. But I can make math fun even for those of you who don't like the subject, don't you think? Oh, that it? Um, I set the bell. I suppose that's all for now. What a shame. Looking forward to seeing you all in the next class. I hope you're looking forward to it. Okay. I'm a bit confused on the timing of how everything works. Like, is it a day-to-day -day thing? Wait. I can just go to math again? Okay, we'll do- we'll do, uh, battle studies, and then we'll just continue onward. Miss Dendra? Yes. Because the math teacher said something about it. Little tardy. Yeah. Not tardy at all. Don't know what you're talking about. Alright, I'm gonna have to answer a question, aren't I? I thought she was gonna give me a hard one, like, dragon fairy. I was gonna be like, oh, man. Oh, she looks... She looks pretty cool, actually. Oh, Sue, say hello to your battle instructor. The one, the only, the hot-blooded Dendra. Oh, Sue is a karate thing. By the way, look it up. <laughs> Age? 25. My hobby? Working out. My type? Well... Strong and muscular fighting types, of course. That's all for my introductions. As for my class, this is where you all get to learn the nitty-gritty of Pokemon battling. We'll, we'll start with the basics, so that no trainer gets left in the dust, even if you're new to this stuff. I can't... I don't know where my character is, though, in this entire thing. Have no fear. Give it to me and my muscles. <laughs> and you'll be pros in no time. Let's start our fighting spirits ablaze together. Pokemon have all kinds of attack moves at their disposal, and each move has certain qualities that you'll want to remember. I'm talking about the power type, power type, and category of these moves. Fire power means more damage, especially if your opponent is weak to that move's type. However, if you're using a special move and your Pokemon's a physical type, it, physical Pokemon, it is not going to do as much damage. Heads up, new kid. Question coming your way. Oh no! <laughs> There are two categories that attack moves can fall under. Know what they are? Uh... You're wrong. There's three categories. There's physical, special, and status. Moves you love and moves you hate. I would so totally do. Move, 
moves of light and moves of darkness. Physical and special moves. Wrong! Because there are three categories. As I said, there's status as well. Although status is not technically a category, but I guess she's meaning like attacking moves. Awesome. You're just as sharp as I expected, new kid. Looks like you have a handle on the basics. I do. Anyway, attack moves are split into two categories. Physical and special. Oh, attack moves. Okay, that's what she okay, attack moves. Physical moves do more damage at, uh, the higher the Pokemon's attack stat is. The special moves do more damage at the the higher the Pokemon's special attack stat is. On the other side of things, Pokemon getting hit by these moves can take less damage by having a high defense or special defense stat, respectively. In conclusion, Pokemon that are good with physical moves should raise their attack stat, and Pokemon that are good with special moves should raise their special attack stat. Trying to raise both these the stats equally will just make it hard for your Pokemon to shine in battle. True. That's why you don't want to go mixed. It depends on actually depends on the Pokemon if you want to go mixed. But you always would just want to go for one or the other over the other. Uh, if you have a special attacking Pokemon, I think you don't want to do anything in terms of a physical attack because uh, how confusion damage works is that it is based off of a 40 uh, power physical move. So if you raise your physical attack, it's dangerous. That's why Swagger is so dangerous. Uh, make your strong points stronger, I always say. That goes for both people and Pokemon. Oh man, I was just about to suggest we do some hands-on practice to really drive the point home. But I guess we're out of time. We're generally meeting... We'll generally meet for the, my class here in the schoolyard. Even for book learning. I like that too. Fresh air. Pretty cool. Nothing like a little fresh air to make studying more fun, am I right? Yeah, that's what I mean. The class is over for now. Take care, you little rascals. Rascal? Oh. Really? You just had to call us rascals? That's not something a teacher should say. I would have giggled if she said rapscallions, because I totally would would agree. Anyway. Uh, I don't know how to see the director, though. They never really did tell us how to get there. So hopefully it's, like, up here? Where do you want to go? Director's office. Is this about Team Star again? D did he find out that my ha phone got hacked and he found the hacker? Sir, my phone got hacked. That's why I was on a phone call. <laughs> Thank you for coming, Master Zarastar. Have you been enjoying your time here at the N Naranya Academy? Yes, I have. That is most one. That is most wonderful to hear. Now, you may be wondering why we could not have simply conversed earlier in the cafeteria. But let me assure you, there is a reason why I asked you to meet me he here in the office. It seems that a friend of mine has, ra has a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. Uh... What friend? Ah, no. Ah, no, I'm afraid they aren't actually here in this room with us. One moment, please. They'll allow me to connect us. It's the Professor Sada person. Hello, Zastar. It is nice to meet you. My, my name is Professor Sada. I carry out Pokemon research with within the great crater of Peltea at a site known as Area Zero. Is that Area Zero? I get confused here. Okay. The professor is, in fact, a graduate of our fine academy. As well as a splendid researcher. Oh, you flatter me. <laughs> it's like, okay. Well, allow me to get straight to the point. Now, sir, student ID number 805C393. You are the student who travels with the unusual Pokemon Koraidon. Is that correct? How do you know this? Thank you. I appreciate that you were honest in confirming the facts. How did you get the fact, though? Uh, not that I... I do not mean to offend you. In fact, I wish to ask for your assistance. Why wait, how does, how does that offend me, though? Assistance with what? Agia. Oh, Kraydon! Oh, how good to see that you are well. It has been quite a while since we last met. Yes. Kraydon was once in my care, you see. 
This book of all was also originally mine. I assume you received it from a young man called Arvin. I am no longer in any position to be able to manage that book one myself. This is what I would ask of you. Will you continue looking after Coradon on my behalf? Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, I like I like him. He's adorable. I do appreciate your agreement. Did I just sign a contract without my knowledge? <laughs> Coradon has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. It can, however, take on a form specialized for mobility. In all likelihood, it will require some time to fully regain the capabilities it once had. I will provide you with my contact information if you would like. If you would please get out the phone. I will be in regular contact going forward to keep tabs on your status. Status. I don't care. Until then. Uh, yes, okay. Does Pokemon have its origins within Gen 0? Not liking his little attitude of that. Seda, don't tell me you actually did it. This is getting a little bit too like suspicious right now. I'm not throwing my hat in the ring just yet. Uh, I mean, I kind of called that there was going to be an evil team in Arceus, but... It just wasn't what I was expecting. Uh, well, it seems that the professor is asking quite the favor of you. Well, I mean, 